Hi friends, my name is Rohan Barachandra. Welcome to today's breaking news where we cover the finance and economic news of the country. News number 1, Karnataka Bank quarterly results. Net profit July to September 2021 125 crores, July to September 2022 411 crores, 229% higher. Net NPA percentage it was 2.84%, now it is 1.72%. The net profit is at an all time high and net NPA percentage also has significantly improved. Shares went up by 20% today and is at a 3 year high due to the good results. News number 2, Domestic Car Sales Zoom. Maruti October 2022 dispatches 1,40,337 units. This is 29% higher compared to October 2021. Hyundai 48,001 units, 30% higher. Tata Motors 33% higher. Mahindra Mahindra 60% higher. Kia 43% higher. And Toyota 6% higher. So automobile industry is doing very well compared to the last year. News number 3, state-wise GST collections. Indian government collected a total of 1,51,718 crores as GST in October 2022. The following are the top 5 states with highest collections. Maharashtra 23,037 crores, Karnataka 10,996 crores, Tamil Nadu 9,540 crores, Gujarat 9,469 crores and Uttar Pradesh 7,839 crores collected in October 2022. News number 4, Russia becomes number 1 oil supplier. Russia once again became India's top oil supplier in October 2022. India has been importing large quantities of crude oil after the Russia-Ukraine war since Russian oil was being sold at a discount. The percentage share of Indian imports from Russia is 22%, Iraq 20.5%, Saudi Arabia 16%, UAE 10% and USA 4%. News number 5, Rapid News. Petrol and diesel sales up by 12% in October 2022 compared to October 2021. Global markets waiting for US Federal Reserve's announcement regarding interest rates. It is expected tonight. And RBI will have its special meeting tomorrow to discuss about the high inflation in India. Now moving on to today's stock market update. Nifty fell by 63 points and closed at 18,083. Sensex fell by 215 points and closed at 60,906. Point number 2, today's top Nifty 50 gainers and losers. Top gainers, Hindalco 1.67% up, Sun Pharma 1.48% up, ITZ 1.47% up. Top losers, Bharti Airtel 3.08% down, Apollo Hospitals 2.84% down, Maruti Suzuki 2.38% down. Point number 3, today's top Nifty Next 50 gainers and losers. Top gainers, Glam Pharma 5.25% up. Chola Investment 4.96% up, NMDC 4.45% up. Top Losers SRF 2.77% down, Nika 2.72% down, PNB 2.12% down. Point number 4 Advanced Decline Ratio for NSE. Advances 976 stocks, declining 991 stocks, so 50% up, 50% down. Point number 5 Yesterday's FII and DII investment data. Foreign institutional investors net purchases 2610 crores yesterday. Domestic institutional investors 730 crores worth of shares were sold on a net basis. Point number 6 Today's gold and silver price. Gold price 4690 per gram. Silver 64.5 per gram. Point number 7 Today's rupee value 1 US dollar 82.78 rupees. 1 euro 81.94 rupees. Point number 8 Stocks near 52 week high. ITC 52 week high 356. Closing price 355. Karnataka Bank 112.65 is the closing price and 52 week high. Sun Pharma 1070 52 week high. Closing price 1052. Point number 9. Stocks near 52 week low. No major stock touches 52 week low today. Point number 10. Global queues today. Hong Kong markets 2.41% up. Japan 0.06% down, Germany 0.03% down, France 0.26% up, UK 0.02% up and Nasdaq 0.89% down on 1st November. So this was today's breaking news. If this video was good, please click the like button 
and mention in the comment section are your monthly household expenses lower than before covid or is it higher compared to 2019 when covid was not there mention in the comment section thank you for watching this video bye bye and all the best